see that at 7 14 p.m that's kevin right there pulling up pulling off the shoulder of the road in his pickup truck right there <laughs> we're on a rescue mission what happened was i loaded scott late this afternoon and i intended on to take the load to the shop haul it in the morning but i got i got about three or four drivers that are freaking go-getters man i saw him go went ahead and hauled it well he ran out of fuel a while ago well he didn't swap his tanks over on the truck but he ran out of fuel luckily he's only about eight miles from our shop there and i happened to be at the shop with kevin when he called so he was out of fuel so before i could get i was bringing fuel in my truck to put in that one tank but he got it they got it, him and kevin got it cranked as i was pulling up and they went off so it's always something man it's always something so i got a load of hay y'all saw on snapchat there today got that load of hay in the back of kevin's truck it was in the back of my truck it's in the back of kevin's truck now he's working on his yard doing some landscaping so i picked that hay up for him this afternoon i just moved it over into there so now I'm fixing to go pressure test the tank. Scott very glad he got that truck cranked before I got here and get put my foot up his butt or whatever. So we'll see y'all. See if I can pick this up on this camera right here. I just rolled over 13,000 hours just a little bit ago. And I couldn't film it when it went over on it because I was uh, moving some wood and loading the truck both. But that's pretty good pretty good of course there's a lot of other machines out there that people have have a lot more hours on it than that but i have put almost every one of those hours on this machine myself i mean my dad's put a few on it um and stuff but nearly probably 99 point something percent i have put on it myself so today is oil change day man We've had uh, we've had Jay strung out, man. You saw my what all we dealt with on the Tiger Cat on the 635, and then those skitters and all that mess, man. So Jay's gonna be on vacation this this coming week, and uh, not able to get us or get get mine serviced up. So I'm over on oil change. You usually run about 300 hours on oil changes what we run and uh on about 315 hours now so i just run up here right quick and knock it out while kevin's piling me some wood down there so that's what i'm doing i hate changing oil man hate it hate it hate it hate it so I'm gonna just let y'all, since I hate it so bad, let y'all tag along with me while I get her done, man. Good thing about this, and it's got a drain hose on it. So you can just drop it down in a bucket. Drop it in a bucket and drain it in there and she's all good to go. Put a bolt in it. Gum, that thing is hot. Very hot. Because I've already been running and loading this morning already, a couple hours already. That oil was very hot and drained out very good too.
This thing holds six gallons of uh, oil. That's what it holds. We're gonna go up here on top. Put them up here. This lid open. Dump her in. She goes in right here. So, two hands. See, so there's my transfer pump that I changed here. A couple, two, three weeks ago or something like that. I did it all video on it. You see it's all good and dry. Come on, baby. There we go. See down in there. Alright, let me grab the oil right quick. Right quick, give y'all their view. There we go. On the other side. had no rain out days or anything either and uh when it's like that this time of year boys oil changes come quick man they they roll around real fast we run a lot of hours number six Check it right quick. We'll be good to go, man. Oh, yeah. She is good. So everything's changed. I didn't show y'all the entire deal. I actually was going to, but I got a phone call. So I answered that and talked to them for a little bit. So I showed y'all out of getting to see the whole thing. I didn't fear y'all wanted to uh, listen to me. Listen to me on the phone the whole time, which some of y'all probably would have loved that, but yeah, it wasn't happening, man. It wasn't happening, so. We got it. I just like to have a heart attack. I looked up there, I couldn't see the little record light going, and uh, thought, man, I ain't recorded nothing on this, but it's going. So, somebody like a, a YouTuber, that's yeah, easy to do, not hit the record button. There's no telling how many things that I have reshot that I never recorded in the first place. So, <sighs> Got man, I'm making man gravy right now. Sweating, baby. Sweating, my skin's leaking. Later, taters.